So here's some of the books from uh, obviously what I've been studying. To be honest, this one, <laughs> this one is a life risk. To be honest, like, <laughs> yo, you know, you know what is there? <laughs> but it's calm, no like this. Oh gosh, not just power, man. <laughs> so today we just thought we'd run through some of the common like people think places where people kind of misunderstand or just a, com a lot of common questions we get and mm. um, we thought we'd answer them from a scientific perspective. Well basically I've been training for about a year and a half now. I'm putting on size, I'm putting on mass but I've got a lot of body, well I know I've got a lot of body fat mm -hmm. and you know summer's around the corner and I want to cut that down like what can I do to do that? Okay so that's that's one of the, another, one of the questions that uh, I hear a lot. Um, Man, personally, obviously I'm a powerlifter in it, so powerlifters tend to have like carry a higher body fat. Cause um, losing weight, yeah, losing fat, yeah. In certain people, most people, yeah, you're gonna lose strength. Um, your training is not gonna be as good, cause obviously um, your calories are under. So obviously that's why uh, powerlifters don't tend to do it. But from a from a just a general perspective, yeah, you're coming up to obviously summer now. You wanna shed some, shed some body fat, show off the muscles, cause that's what it's about, you know. Let me add this side note in. When people say toning, yeah, they mean building muscle and losing fat. That's what gives you the toned appearance. There's no separate mm. thing okay. that's toning. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that toned appearance or ripped appearance. Okay. Obviously, a lot of people understand this already, but for the general public, like toning is your body fat percentage, you know what I'm saying? Because if you've got high body fat and low muscle, you're not gonna look toned. If you've got low body fat, but you've got muscle mass on you, that's what the toned appearance that people talk about. Okay. Um, back to the question, I went on a tangent. Um, yeah, so what you need to do is, in terms of body, uh, your body composition, so that's how much of your body is made up of muscle and fat. The only way to change that is to change your Calorie balance, your first kilo, um, calorie, uh, your calorie energy balance. So that's uh, how much calories you're eating, how much calories you're burning. Okay. You get me? So for you to be putting on muscle and mass, you were eating more calories than you're consuming. Okay. You were eating more calories than you're burning. Sorry. So you were burning calories, but you were you were overfeeding your body. So that those extra calories, you were able to use that to build muscle. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But as a side note. You also put on fat because it's kind of unavoidable. Bro, should have been a phones off team. But anyway, it's kind of unavoidable. Um, to put on fat as well sometimes, depending on the individual, because genetics play a huge role in it. Okay. So now, all you need to do essentially is work out your maintenance calories. Yeah. So say your maintenance calories are three thousand. That's how much your body needs to stay the same weight not change every day you're the same you know what i'm saying same way you don't put on muscle you don't lose muscle you don't put on fat you don't lose fat say that's three thousand calories yeah to get to the point where, where you are now where you've put on muscle you must have been eating over three thousand yeah i was yeah. eating a lot yeah like how would you were you tracking your calories at all i weren't tracking my calories at all i was just eating mm. i was just eating bare food man I lots of red meat let's grab a coffee quick time car that's going to master Mm, I was just eating a lot of food, so I weren't really counting my calories or anything like that. Mm. Mm. That's where like, a lot of people can do it like um, guesswork, but it, again, it's genetics. Like, see, like people like uh, Daniel as well, for example, or Malik, they've got high metabolisms. I see Daniel, he like, eat madnesses, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And he doesn't put on body fat. That's because his uh, maintenance calories are really, really high. So for him to eat over his calories is going to be almost not impossible but it's going to be difficult and he's not going to be able to do that on a basis long enough to put on any sustained amount of fat you know what i'm saying okay that's why obviously you see if he, he could do it one day but then you know what i'm saying you're not going to do it consistently you know what i'm saying yeah. to be able to put on that amount of fat but um yeah like i said so say your balance was three thousand now uh you were eating over three thousand mm. in order to lose fat now yeah you're gonna have to bring that below 3,000. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can either eat less food, yeah, or burn more calories. Okay. That's the only two ways about it. Okay, then. 
only two ways. Right, one other thing, I spoke to someone else before, and but well, I spoke to someone else about losing weight and mm. um, just getting shredded basically, and they told me that my water retention, I might be holding a lot of water okay. on my skin. Like, yeah. What does that, you know, what does that really mean? Like your water retention. Okay, now. Water, yeah, like when people talk about water like that, they're talking about subcutaneous water. Uh, subcutaneous means anything under the skin, directly under the skin, that's what subcutaneous water means. Now, um, that, yeah, will, it fluctuates daily, depending on how much water you drink, and depending on how much, depending on your, what you diet, actually, because in, in coffee, for example, that's a diuretic, that makes you piss in it, it makes you excrete water. Um, so it depends on what, what you eat, obviously, and depends on how much water you drink. Um, but, uh, per se, water retention, yeah, is something that not a lot of people need to worry about um, because that's, it's homeostatically uh, regulated by the body. Your body constantly regulates how much everything is in your body, you know what I'm saying? And, and water is one of those things. So it's not something that normal people need to worry about, mm. but it can affect how the individual looks so from an elite elite bodybuilding perspective when you step on stage you want to look shredded and dry so not only do you want to have a low body fat yeah so it's coming up to like the i mean the elite levels like they're talking five six seven percent probably even lower than that sometimes mm. um so not only are they massively shredded they're also alter their water so the water under the skin so if to try and excrete as much water as possible so there's no subcutaneous water so the fine details in the muscle can can show you know what i'm saying because the same way that body fat would affect your appearance water can affect it in a similar way so you won't look as defined but that's only elite level bodybuilders in terms of uh, physique competitors etc um me personally from the science that i read and and the research that's been put out um, I mean, there's a lot of uh, exercise physiologists that I follow, uh, people like Eric Helms, um, and, and there's a quite, quite a lot of others. Um, in terms of water weight, that's not something that the average person needs to worry about, um, and you can't really affect it that much, to be honest, anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, one other thing, obviously, when I first started training, <clears throat> I didn't really know how I should be training, like what I should be doing to put on body mass. Like I just really went into the gym, naive really. But, mm, mm, mm. You know, what I've done is it's worked for me. Like yeah, 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 someone yeah. new starting out in the gym, they want to get big, they want to put on mass. Like what sort of things should they be doing? No, I see that as well. It varies from person to person as well. Cause like I say, I can't understate genetics. I can't say how important genetics are because genetics is what, makes up every single person you know what i'm saying every person you what makes you look like you is determined by genetics so what makes you put on muscle like you will be determined, determined by your genetics you know what i'm saying so the same way you, you look different to me i might put on muscle different to you you know what i'm saying okay um so i just want to throw that out there but um the majority of people can get by training a certain way if you just go to the gym and you mess about you hop on some machines you see them people that just go there you, you time and time again year after year don't know what they're doing but still kind of put on some mass you know what i'm saying that's because training is just a stimulus for muscle growth this is another uh, this is a quote from eric Helms. i think he said uh training is a stimulus for muscle growth uh training is a stimulus nutrition is just permissive for muscle growth that means that nutrition just allows the muscle growth to the muscles muscles to grow after the they're giving the stimulus to uh, after training um so that just shows that training is the stimulus for training is actually probably the most important um uh, so so sorry back again but i thought for the tangent back to the original point yeah um basically it, it, it obviously ultimately depends on your individual goals um, if someone wants to build strength, they might train slightly different to someone who just wants to build size. Someone who just wants to concentrate on size will typically uh, lift within the higher rep range, etc. Uh, yeah, so there's no specific foods like 
that's gonna actually make like if you eat this food it's gonna make you grow muscle like people think that tilapia or bodybuilders think tilapia makes, makes you build muscle for some reason but essentially it's about your macronutrients so your protein carbs and fat uh, your micronutrients some of some micronutrients can have, have evidence to say that they might affect muscle group growth micronutrients are vitamins and minerals um, but essentially it always comes down to calories you know what I'm saying okay. because you could build muscle I don't want to say this but I need to get the point across you could build muscle on uh, fucking Big Macs you know what I'm saying that like you could you could get big eating Big Macs yeah because I seen a video I think it was, Ron, was it Ronnie Coleman yeah. yeah, he has like four or five burgers before he goes to the gym, and I was yes. thinking, right, like people do that. Yeah, it can be done because that, and it's just about calories. Because if you're eating more calories than you're burning, you've got excess of calories. So if you've got the stimulus we were talking about, which is training, and you've got the excess calories, regardless of where they come from, you're gonna build muscle. Now, the, obviously, the side note to why that's not advisable because you've got obviously a high fat. Uh, and it's just it's just bad for you because of what's in the Big Macs. Okay. But the principle of terms of calories that just demonstrates the principle of terms of calories. I would still say eat clean and or what was termed as clean, which is like um, whole grain foods. Um, that's just so for your satiety. So that's feeling full. Okay. Um, lean meats, uh, protein, healthy fats. Um, just all, all general, general guidelines really, without getting too specific because obviously. If you were an elite bodybuilder and like six weeks out from a show, I'd tell you something different. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But speaking to obviously most of our listeners, which is just normal average people going to the gym, just just eat what 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 you uh, track your calories and just eat clean, um, and and you'll be good. Okay. Yeah, that's it from me, really. I haven't I don't really have anything more to say, fam. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. That's, that's good. So that's just our first video. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you think. Um, little tips. Obviously, we're just starting now, so just, just don't. Yeah. Just, we'll improve as we go yeah, along. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all of that. All of that stuff. Time to go. Yeah, man. <laughs>